working on his uh, JL. Yeah, it's just kind of warm still. <laughs> what we did is uh, just got finished building the, the rear crossover for this thing. I know last week we were talking about the cage, but the cage is honestly a little easier to do. So when we're, uh, we're waiting on parts from the laser, then I can fill it in with the cage work and stuff. But uh, just got the cross member in, and these are just packed, caught off the presses. These are the uh, the link mounts for the rear here. So we're gonna test fit these things. Looks like it's uh, looks like it's this side. Oh yeah. Look at that. How awesome is that? And the laser is sure paying for itself. It makes my job a lot easier. But that'll be the upper link mount. Ties into the cross member. This is the lower link mount. Yeah, look at that. It's like a glove. Nice and smooth. Man, that thing ties in beautifully. Be able to get that thing welded out. So this thing's gonna be beefy. I'll drop the skid plate. We'll put the uh, nut church in there. Weld in nuts. And that thing's gonna be a monster. Did we check out the front of this thing? So we got the skid plate in. This is the motor skid plate. Look at that thing. How smooth is that? Nice dropout section. Access to oil and stuff without having to drop the skid plate. But it ties in the motor mount. That thing's super deep. And then this cross member, I know we talked about it last week a little bit, but the cross member, it's an aluminum cross member and it's pretty pretty beefy for a cross member, but there's no real way to tie, a good way to tie in the link mounts. So what we did is to design these these uh, lower link mounts and completely redid the cross members so the skid plate and the motor skid all tie into this big old beefy thing. I think you got some pictures of that somewhere. But uh, look at that thing, what a monster. Nice and smooth, even the little, little skid for the top of it. We just got that in. I'm gonna have to cut the exhaust off and we'll do some, we'll do it. Probably just run one down either side. Then we'll get these off. But you see the, the stock and these knot brackets? Look at that little chintzy thing. That's the lower. And then look at how short this thing is. We've taken that and now it's this big beefy unit and we've added what, probably 16 inches to the length of that thing. Nice long arm. But, so it doesn't do stuff like that. That little link angle, you see how steep that link angle is. This thing will be badass. And super smooth all the way across the bottom. Until it come together. an amazing bracket, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> that does fit good, though. Look at that. <laughs> There's your...